Australian Prime Minister Robert Menzies launched the country's first international broadcast service, ushering in a new era for the ABC in the Indo-Pacific region. Now, to celebrate the ABC's 90th anniversary, a book has been published with the title Australia Calling, the ABC Radio Australia Story. Written and researched by one of ABC Radio Australia's longtime journalists, Dr. Phil Cascaludis, Australia Calling delves into more than eight decades of international broadcasting, from its wartime beginnings to its more recent Pacific focus. particularly in the Indo-Pacific region, and offers insights into the historic importance of ABC international services in supporting a free and independent media in the Indo-Pacific. It offers an opportunity to reflect on Australia and the ABC's role in promoting regional democracy and collaboration with its neighbors as Australia faces an increasingly challenging international context. Dr. Phil Kapkaloudis is an author and broadcast journalist who presented the breakfast program on ABC Radio Australia for nine years, broadcasting across the Pacific and Asia on FM and streaming online. For the ABC, he worked in countries, hosted the corporation's first English language program from China. There's a promo that ABC Radio has been running to promote the new book. Australia Calling. Australia calling the world. In 1939, two months after the outbreak of World War II, Prime Minister Robert Menzies launched Australia's first international broadcast service. The time has come to speak for ourselves. Radio Australia was a very powerful tool. Over the next four decades, the service expanded to broadcast in a variety of languages. Radio Australia By 1998, the service turned its focus to the Pacific and North and Southeast Asia. It's so important that Australia has important industries and expanding with 76 local radio stations in 20 countries. This is our neighbourhood. We must make an impact, be respected, be credible. During periods of crisis, the people turn to us. During the Fiji coups, you can... with launches of more and more FM transmitters across the region. ABC is important to the region and the Solomons because it comes with a neutral perspective. Helping to inform. Human rights are being to know what's up what. Celebrate culture and community. Touching to island music on Radio Australia across the Pacific. And bringing people together. We have a very important role to play. It is more and more important today when we are facing uh, new challenges. Now, with a renewed focus in the Pacific. We need to work together as part of the Pacific family. Our role is more important than ever. We are trusted. We have a wonderful reputation. It reflects the ABC cares for us. And now, to celebrate the ABC's 90th anniversary, discover for yourself the rich history of Australia's international radio service in the book Australia Calling, the ABC Radio Australia story. Available online and from bookstores. Australia Calling, the ABC Radio Australia Store. It is available at bookstores in Australia and Canada. Looks like it might be difficult to uh, get online outside of Australia, only in New Zealand. Uh, but we plan to be in Australia early next year, and so we'll try and pick up a copy and tell you a little bit more about it. Today's edition of WaveScan with the state song of Washington State, Washington, my home. Thanks for listening to WaveScan, the national VX program from Adventist World Radio. Preferred to Indianapolis by Adrian Peterson. Next week, the Japan Shortwave Club celebrates 70 years. We'll have a special report. 
as well as our regular Japan DX report. WaveScan is heard weekly on KSDA in Guam, AWR relays in various locations, WRMI in Florida, WWCR in Tennessee, KBOH in Los Angeles, Voice of Hope Africa in Zambia, and IRRS Italy. Send reception reports directly to the station you're listening to. Reports for KSDA and AWR sites should go to QSL at awr.org. Other correspondence, not reception reports, can be sent to WaveScan at awr.org. smartphone charging and flashlight ensure that you and your family stay informed and not in the dark. Learn more about our preparedness products at www.etoncorp that's E-T-O-N-C-O-R-P dot com and enter this for free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Bonjour, bonsoir, selon de quelle partie du monde vous nous écoutez. Qui vous parle, Eric Domergue, vous donne la bienvenue à un nouveau programme en français de Raël Argentine vers le monde. Avec la production de Silvana Villaneda, Julian Cortés et Pedro Araos, responsables du web, et sous la direction de Adrien Corolle, nous vous apportons les nouvelles et les rubriques habituelles sur le pays et la région. Maintenant, place à l'actualité préparée par Fernando Fadis. Les titres. Les maires de la place de mer ont organisé en hommage à leur présidente décédée, Eve de Bonafini. Brésil, la justice électorale a condamné le parti du président Jair Bolsonaro pour de fausses allégations de fraude. Colombie, début des pourparlers de paix entre le gouvernement et la guérilla de l'ELN. Venezuela, le 